Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here with a brand new collection from Cracked Polish that is just so beautifully rainbow rific and I am just really excited to show you. This is the Artificial Flavors collection and it's launching on June 28th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, I'm going to plug my affiliate code and my affiliate link. So my code is Caitlin Swatches. If you haven't used it before, it will save you 10% on your purchase. But if you have used it, just shop through my affiliate link, which I will include down in the description and that will help support my channel. I really appreciate that Monique and Cracked Polish offer that kind of kickback to us content creators. And I really appreciate all of you who have used my code and hopefully will use it. The other thing I wanna note is that for the entire month of June, 10% of all proceeds from polishes sold by Cracked Polish from their shop will be supporting Lambert House, which is based in Seattle, Washington, which is where Cracked Polish is. And it's a safe space for LGBTQIA plus youth from ages 10 to 22. Sounds like an amazing organization. And I love that Monique is supporting their work. As I mentioned, I'm in love with this collection. So let's get into it. Let's start by taking a look at the brand new nail file, which is now available in the Cracked Polish site. It has a really nice fine grit. It takes off nail length very quickly, but it's also great for doing fine detailed filing work. Now we can get into the real meat of the video, but that doesn't make sense. This is a collection about candy. Let's get to the sweets. Um, this is Stevie O and it's a beige packed with gold micro shimmers. It's so pretty. Um, I am swatching this one over a base coat, just a regular clear base coat. This has fantastic coverage. It's self-leveling, super easy to work with, and you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the shifts in this one. This is just a lovely neutral polish. I rarely ever get to wear nail polish on my nails, period, ever, just because I'm swatching every day of my life, but this is a polish that I would definitely gravitate towards if I just wanted something neutral and super classy and easy to wear. So it does dry glossy, but I'm going to use a top coat to smooth it out. As always, I'm using the Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat. Next up is Push and Pop, and this one's a tangerine with orange and pink shimmers. This one I am just swatching over my bare nail. I don't know, I just was like doing some with base coat, some without. I don't know what my logic was, but anyway. This is so pretty. It's a beautiful, peachy, dreamy shade. Honestly, it is such pretty shimmer in there as you're going to see and you can probably already see the formula is fantastic super easy to work with and this works really nicely on my skin tone it kind of reminds me of something maybe from the 60s i don't know i watched some woman who does like vintage nail polish on tiktok i don't remember her username if i remember it i'll try to put it in the comments but she's literally swatching nail polish from like the 50s and the 60s I don't know if I'm that brave, and it's probably fine because it's all probably the same level of toxic, but um, this is definitely something that I can imagine being popular in the 60s. It's just so sweet and retro. I don't know why. It's just giving retro to me, and I really like that. So it builds up nicely in three coats, and with top coat, it just adds gloss. This is not going to stain. It's not going to be difficult to remove. And unfortunately, I have not been having much sun where I live, so you're not going to see these with sunlight, but 
you can see that this has really beautiful shifts regardless and at least under artificial light you can just see how nicely the shimmer interacts with the light. Moving along we have Lemon Brain and this is a yellow citrine with yellow shimmer and a yellow sheen. This is another one swatched over my bare nail and I love this polish. I really do like polishes with a slightly pearlized finish. I was gonna say frosty, but frosty has a bad reputation, but this is just so pretty. I really love this color. I love this entire collection. I love that it's got like the colors of the rainbow, but everything has a slightly different finish and everyone is like unique in its own way and we're not getting just primary colors. So this is beautiful. It is quite self-leveling. I'm not gonna say that there aren't brush strokes because you can see them sort of, but honestly, it's like barely visible and that is just sort of the look of this kind of polish with that pearlescent finish. This is truly a beautiful yellow. I'm, I'm in deep with this one, I really like it. I really like everything in this collection, but this one's really pretty and it does have a slightly satiny finish when it dries down, so definitely use top coat. And here we have Grapeness, which is a purple grape jelly. This one, again, swatching on my bare nail. This one has a really nice jelly formula. And I love the shade of purple. Um, it's just so pretty. It is quite deep and it kind of looks deeper than this in real life because when you have a jelly and you have very bright lights on it, it's gonna make it look lighter than what it is. So this is just a really, you're gonna see what I mean later with my four finger shot, but this is gorgeous. Um, really love the formula. It has a very high shine finish, but of course I still recommend top coat. And this one is definitely gonna work well for layering, which I will show and a few polishes. This beauty is called Pink Strawberry Puffs and it's a sheer glowing pink with pink shimmers and a soft gold shift. I do really like this candy that it's inspired by. Um, it's just like so chewy and yummy. And this polish is very yummy and pretty. I am going to show it layered later. But right now I'm showing it on its own and you guys already know that this is the kind of polish that I live for. Love these on their own built up in a coat or two. Just so effortless to wear, so shifty and so pretty. 
This one has a beautiful formula. I personally like it in two coats, but I'm going to show it in three just so you can get a taste of how opaque it gets. Obviously, I can't speak for someone with more of a vis visible free edge, but on me, it pretty much covers it. It does dry pretty shiny, but I'm still going to show it with top coat. And then you will see it shift around. It's so pretty. And I thought it would be worth showing it over grapeness. It works beautifully as a topper. As you can see, this combo in particular is just so pretty. And it's super even. It's just a lovely, lovely topper that shifts so nicely over that base. This polish is called B Raz and it's a cobalt blue with pink and blue shimmers. I don't think we get enough blues like this ever, so I am tickled pink by this one. Um, it is like my favorite kind of blue and I love the finish. I love how this one builds up. It's just so, so pretty and very luminous and bright. I do think this one is best built up in three coats. As you can see on that third coat, it really does intensify the color and you just get more of that delicious blue payoff. Here we have Cherry Sugar Water, which is a vibrant red with red sheen. And this one is so stunning. It does start out sheer, but it does build up beautifully. So it's worth, worth the coats. I also just really love the name of this polish because I don't know, it's like triggering some childhood memory. And I don't know exactly know what it is. I mean, I think this is probably referencing maybe Kool-Aid, I don't know. But my sister and I, we were, we were fun. We had a wild imagination and we had so much fun together as kids. And um, we like to mix things together. I don't know. I feel like cherry sugar water is something we would have said to each other. So anyway, um, this is a really pretty polish. Love the sheen. 
love the finish. It is so shiny when it dries down. And it does look even better with top coat, as you can see. And this is honestly delicious. It it makes me want to go and get some Jolly Ranchers, like the Cherry Jolly Ranchers, which are the best. And last but certainly not least, we have the green in the collection, which is Lima Bean Jelly. Or sorry, Lima Jelly Bean. And this is a really beautiful lime green with a sheer base. And then it's got green shimmers and gold holographic glitter. It's like micro glitter. It's very tiny. It's not going to be difficult to remove. And let me tell you when I say it's super holographic. This is like really high quality gold glitter I can tell that Monique is using. And one thing to note, if you haven't tried crack polish yet, you're going to be really impressed by the formula and their bottle cap and brush. It just makes application so easy. It's just beautiful to work with. The brush is the perfect density and thickness and width. It's like a paddle, but it baby paddle so it's just really easy to work with it gives you a perfect application every time and yeah just wanted to mention that so this does dry with a tiny bit of texture because of the glitter so do use a good glossy top coat it will smooth it out you're not going to need more than one layer of top coat to smooth it out because the glitter is very tiny and very fine I am genuinely struggling to pick my favorites from this collection because I loved every single polish. They all had fantastic formulas and just like beautiful finishes. When it comes to cracked polish, that's what you can count on is an absolutely beautifully formulated polish. So if I have to pick favorites, um, I personally really like Lima Jelly Bean. Um, I love the gold hollow in there. I think it's extremely rainbowy and very eye-catching. Obviously, I love like sheer, squishier polishes. This one's just really wearable and fun. I also super love Cherry Sugar Water because it has such an incredible glow. So if you liked Candy Painted from their Valentine's Day collection in February, this is like a brighter primary red sibling. In terms of finish, it just has the glowiest red finish so if you're into like a really gorgeous red nail this is going to give you that and then the other one i think that i really like and it's kind of unique is push and pop um i love the shimmer in there it's got a really good particle size and it also is just a really really pretty shade of peachy orange that makes me think of fuzzy peaches and makes me hungry so those i guess right now Today, those are my top ones, but honestly, you can't go wrong with anything in this collection. Let me know in the comments what you think of these polishes. And as I mentioned at the top of my video, don't forget to use my affiliate link or affiliate code so you can support my channel. And if you haven't already, you'll also get 10% off your first purchase. So that's it for me and this video. And yeah, have a great day wherever you are. Bye.